we're talking contemporary now because we live in this age, but it will not be contemporary in 50, 100 years. And this will be our cultural heritage. And it is a addition to whatever cultural heritage we already have in Nanjing. For me to act on collecting takes a long time. I look at a lot of exhibitions, I read, I read about them, I talk to curators, and I speak with mu other museum directors about you know, the, the kind of the mutual um, perspective on the artist. And of course, I have my own you know, uh, criteria and frameworks. A lot of collectors are very like, um, passionate collectors. So they, they buy the first time they see something. And for me, it's a lot about research. So all of that comes together. Um, but it's, it is a long process. Um, I usually don't collect right away. I'm looking at contemporary artists, and they're the ones that are making artworks as we're speaking right now. You're going to have a, a vision of the future. If we stand 50 years from now, what would be an important work of art or an important artist living today that will be a representation of today's world. You also have to look at an artist's natural talent. So if you look at a painter, he has to paint really good. Uh, but nowadays, I think there's, we're putting, putting a lot of challenge on artist's side because artist is not only an artist anymore. So he has to know exactly what's going on around, around him. You know, in, if he's living in China, what are some of the things that, that's happening in China that's influencing his art? So he has to know what's already happening and he has to make a step forward. Yeah, I was born and raised in Nanjing and uh, as I grew older, I, you know, the understanding of the city and the appreciation also also grow tremendously. Nanjing has been there for 1600 years. And the, the, the city, I always say, comes with a great class and ease. And the city can, kind of just stood there and just watched people go by and watch those things go by. Uh, government asked me to, to help for this project and we decided to uh, use people to define, the, to define the city because the modern residents of Nanjing, they, they, are, they took on a lot of these characteristics and whoever lived or worked in Nanjing, you know, understands that, understands that sensibility. Um, and we thought that it would be interesting to use um, uh, 10 or 20 people that from all walks of life, um, from their perspective, from their angle, talk about how they see their city is. And this is not something that we will stop doing because it's a continuous effort. So we'll continue to document many, many more people from Nanjing, hopefully come up with a, um, a more comprehensive image of what the city is because you can never define a city in one word. The age we live in, also, it is a part of the history. It is a future history. Consider that a collection that will be so useful for future research, and they will contribute to Nanjing's landscape. If you look at a much bigger time scale, so we have sculptures from the Southern Dynasty, we have um, we have uh, some of the most beautiful modern architecture in China, in Nanjing. A lot of these amazing architecture, they're in instrumental in, um, in the Chinese uh, progression of, aest of aesthetics or architecture. And these contemporary 
um, architects, architecture, buildings, and artworks are a addition to that. If you consider, you know, a big, a larger historical con uh, context, um, so they are the the best of what we can offer today. So they represent our culture today. 